Papa, is it okay for a believer to sing spiritual songs and pray violent prayers when you or she feels he's been oppressed? I don't know what you mean by violent prayers. And I don't know what you mean by spiritual that songs in this context. Fire, fire, oh, no, 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 no. That is not prayer. That is witchcraft. That is incantation. That is enchantment. All those things are wicked things. It's not the spirit of God. That's the same thing James and John or so. And they said to Jesus, should we command fire? To come down and consume people as Elijah did. They even had a reference. Jesus rebuked them and told them, Stop that. You know not what manner of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Our prayer should always be filled with grace, filled with love, because love never fails. That's where the believer should be. Papa, why don't we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus today? Owing to the fact that we have been doing this for years and seeing results. <laughs> that you do something and it works doesn't mean it is right now. Native doctors are giving people charms and the charms are working. So it's not the result that makes it right. It is a fact that it is not scriptural. The blood is not liquid, so you don't sprinkle it. The blood is a person. He lives in you. His name is Jesus. And he gave you his name to use as the symbol of his authority. So you, you pray in Jesus' name. And if there's any situation where you wanted to plead the blood, you call the name of Jesus, which is his office and authority, and you exercise your authority. Papa, I have two questions. Explain the seven spirits that God talked about in Revelation. It was an Old Testament way of communicating, and that's, you know, in the New Testament, what we have is the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Papa, explain the plague in Egypt in the relations to God's character. Plagues in Egypt was judgment upon the gods, the idols, the, the idols of Egypt. About the book of Genesis 3, 15, I would put enmity between you and the woman, between your posterity and her posterity. The latter will crush your head and you hurt her feel. What is that, uh, Papa? Well, that was talking about the redemptive plan of God, how that Jesus was going to put an end to the devil, to sin and to the hold of the devil over man. That was, what, that was a prophecy concerning redemption. Hello. Uh, Papa, I want to say that uh, very glad uh, you Jesus throughout these things. My question is, since you have explained that we don't have a believer to fight the devil during suspension, how do we bring the believer to discipline when he or she is out of church conduct or rules? Well, he left out his name, but good question. Papa, what did, what is that? he saying? That's... That if you, you say we, should, we cannot hand the believer over to Satan. So how do we ensure conduct? No, 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 no. Hand, the word Satan there is not Satan now. We don't hand over people to Satan. The word Satan there is accusation. He's not saying give him to Satan. He says allow him in the hand of accusation. So the discipline there is that if a brother is given to habitual sin, you should discipline him in the church by allowing brethren to accuse him and say things against him so that that bad behavior in his mind will be destroyed. That's what he meant by hand over to Satan. Hand over to Satan doesn't mean Satan as a personality, but Satan as accusation. There is discipline. And then Brother Paul says, don't give him the courtesies of brotherhood. That is withdraw courtesies. You know, that is what it means. So there, there is discipline in the church, but the discipline does not harm. If you observe, nobody is hot when they are disciplined. It doesn't cause physical harm. It only corrects. There's a difference between correction and destruction. So what we're dealing with here is that the brother should be corrected, but that bad behavior should be destroyed because brethren will withdraw courtesies from the brother who has been corrected and has not been able to live out. His reality in Christ.